Hey guys, it's Candice, and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I wanna teach you how to set up a PayPal account and how to do your first transaction inside of it. So first, if you don't already have one, I recommend setting up a bank account inside QuickBooks for just PayPal. You have another bank account, but you also are using, it's best if you set PayPal up as a bank. So you're gonna go under list, chart of accounts, go down to the bottom and click new, choose bank, continue, and then PayPal and click save and close. Now I'm not gonna create in this example, PayPal with the beginning balance, depending on how long you've, and I'm not gonna worry about setting it up right now, but depending on how long you've been using PayPal, you may have a beginning balance. I'm gonna actually do a series of videos about PayPal because there's multiple areas and different ways that you're gonna have questions about it. And so it's gonna be a little series. So if this video doesn't cover your PayPal question, you might check some of the other videos coming up. What you wanna do is let's say that I typically recommend when you're using PayPal, you are actually usually getting paid at the time you provide the product or service. It is possible that you created an invoice, sent it to your customer, and they paid you through, through PayPal later. If that's the case, you would just do create invoices like normal, you'd receive your payment, choose the customer that paid you, the amount that they paid you through PayPal, let's just say it's $1,000, Make sure you enter in the date that they paid you. Then you're going to look over here and you're gonna see there's different types of payments. If you drop this down, you can create a new payment and call it PayPal. You'll wanna make sure that you choose cash because if you choose other or one of the Visa cards, it's going to try to process the payment for you and you don't want that. What you wanna do is you wanna type in your PayPal and choose cash. That's gonna be your payment type. Then when you go to make these payments, you're gonna select your PayPal, and you wanna make sure that you've also picked undeposited funds because you're gonna see in a moment, there's a way that the merchant, we take out the merchant fees by using the undeposited funds feature in QuickBooks. All right, then you're gonna click save and close. And then when you click record, you're gonna choose the money that they paid you but you wanna make sure you choose PayPal as the account it went into. So typically what happens is PayPal receives the money, and then you either spend the money with PayPal through your different expenses, or you can transfer it into your bank account. But typically, it's a process, and so I recommend doing it in QuickBooks the exact same way that it happened, so that way you don't miss any steps and you track all the expenses that you might have paid that were business related through PayPal and the income that came in through PayPal. So you wanna do it in the exact same order. So what I do is I choose PayPal, the date that they paid me. Then I come down here and I'll type in PayPal as a vendor. You'll see PayPal's set up as a vendor. And then I would put this towards merchant fees as an expense. And then I'm just gonna make up a dollar amount off the top of my head. We'll do it like it's 3%. And so what happens is we say we received $1,000 on payment. We are going to put $30 towards the fees, and you'll notice that the $30 is a negative 30. That's why it's $1,000 minus the fees is what we gotta actually put into our bank, the 970. I just wanna make sure I emphasize that that needs to be a negative number. But it will, within QuickBooks, it knows that that means it's an expense, just so you know guys, and that it's gonna take it out of the bank account. Like it does, it knows the debits and credits for you, but you do need to put a negative number. And we click save and close. All right, so that's the first step. You've received the money and now it's been put in to PayPal. So if we looked at PayPal's account, there's your money inside of PayPal. It tracked the income you received and the expense. I will create another video on how to use sales receipts. I will create a video on how to do refunds from customers, but they're gonna be a few different videos. So stay tuned and if you'd enjoy this, don't forget to subscribe. If you need help with QuickBooks, feel free to check out Confidence with QuickBooks, my online course that takes you from the beginning to the end if you're a brand new user or you've been trying to figure out QuickBooks, but you've really been struggling trying to do it on your own. The course does come with support so you can ask me questions and I answer them inside of the course, as well as if you enjoyed this tip and you'd like to receive them in your inbox, feel free to go up above or down below and join with your email and I'll send them directly to you. And if you need help cleaning up your QuickBooks or fixing something and you want more of a private session, you don't need the full course, feel free to check out 
up above or down below, I'll have a link for my private sessions. Have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tip. Bye-bye.